I'm ready to rock this out. The last time I made a tutorial like this with swatches, we did not have the colors that we have now. And I'm super stoked because we're gonna show more. I love the colors. And I'm gonna break them down with different pinks, different orange tones, different purple tones um, that you probably wanna compare with. So check out this video on our lip and cheek swatches from Saint right now. All right. Blushes can make you or break you, and usually they always make you, because anytime you can add color to the cheeks, it's pure goodness. But we always have a tone that we might tend to gravitate to. Some people like pinks, some people like super warms, and some people like purples or Barbie doll pink, even though I said pinks, but this one's like taken to another level. So the good news is, with all of the colors that we have from Saint, you are set. Here are some colors that I wanna show you that we have. So here are more of our matte type satin colors. And here is where you can find a little bit more of those awesome colors and you are set. See how pretty those are? So I'm gonna roll these out and first I'm gonna do, so I know I have these in a certain set order, but what I'm gonna do is kind of grab ones that I think are pretty dang close to other colors. So I'm gonna start out with some pinks and we will compare there. The first one that I'm gonna, going to grab is the color that we have called Carousel. Now Carousel is one that as you can see, even when I, well maybe you can see, even when I come into this, um, it has this little pearly background to it. I don't know if you can see, maybe you can, maybe you can't, but it kind of has a pearlized to it. So I'm going to swatch that on my hand and you can see that with my skin, it even shows up just light, but really what it has there is that pearlized type look, like so right there that you can kind of see that shift, okay? So with that is this gorgeous color that we're gonna, call. this is candy. And candy, so the, Carousel color is pretty sheer. It doesn't have a strong pigment into it, but candy is like that next step up. This one is a color called Petal, right, like so. So you can, if you kind of sh see the shift, um, the candy is gonna show up the best out of the three of these. These though, these two are really good for fair tones. This one, it's like my tone that it shows up. In fact, it's what I have on my cheek right now, is candy. So that's that beautiful color. Uh, Petal, on my cheek, it's not gonna show a ton. And La Cienega, I really like when I'm just trying to create that pet, that pearlized look with my cheek with a little bit of pink, and it looks really, really pretty. Um, every month, Saint's been doing a color of the month, and they introduced a brand new color that will come and go. It's not gonna stick around, but it's called Audrey, and it's in this family a little bit but it has more pink to it that's a matte color, so satin with that color. So now we have the candy, we have the um, carousel, we have the petal, and now we have Audrey. And these all have gloss to them, and Audrey is a satin slash matte type color. These ones you'll wanna keep for a lighter skin tone, definitely not going into the darker. The only time I would really recommend these is with really dark skin tones and it's gonna really show up those pinks, but they would be showing up more so just to add light than to take over the whole entire cheek. So again, my color or lighter, I feel like these work best on. Candy, you can do a little bit more, a little darker than me, but the other two, they're gonna work better the lighter your skin color is. I'm gonna show you a couple mattes that are in the pink family, and we'll go over those right now. So this is the color Hollywood. I'm gonna continue having those other colors on my hand just so that you can compare. So this is Hollywood. Hollywood is more of a coral pink color. It actually has teeny tiny little particles of gold in it that um, shine a little bit too, but you'll notice the difference. So this is Dahlia. This is baby watermelon, and this is pink grapefruit. So you can see that there's a little more blue tones or um, going more into that like solid pink. So see how the pink grapefruit, grapefruit has more of those blue tones in it, and then this one's straight up more pink. So I guess maybe purple, blue tones. And then Dahlia is super, it looks super strong, but you have to remember that when you blend these colors out, they're not gonna have that strength and it's gonna be really pretty. These are colors that I might not necessarily always put on my lips, 
but I would put on my cheek or if I put them on my lips, I would then take one of these colors and soften it out just a little bit. So you can see that these are gorgeous, gorgeous colors. So again, Hollywood, Dahlia, Baby Watermelon, and Pink Grapefruit. Here's some other fun colors that we have that are kind of in those pink families too. So La Cienega, it is a semi-gloss. It is very sheer. It is very, very pretty. It does not show up a ton, but it's definitely one that I love on my lips and my cheeks. But again, on my lips when I want it to be light. But anytime you are oily skinned, if you use something other than a matte, it will kind of pick up that coloring a little bit more. So remember that too, to, your cheek will look a little more glossed. Um, so then I'm gonna do this baby for you. This is Pinky Promise. And it is um, that semi-gloss as well, but it isn't so sheer as this one. And it has that stronger pink. Like to me, this is that Barbie doll, awesome color pink is what a Pinky Promise has. Then uh, let's see here, what do I want to grab for you? This one is Pop, right there, so it looks so vibrant and strong, right? But it is a sheer. So it's not going to be as strong as a matte and it is really, really pretty. So that was pop. This is now Ruby that we have here. And you can just tell that this has a lot more purple in it than pop. But Ruby has more pigmentation going through it than pop does. So pop can scare you up front, but just know that it's more sheer than what um, Ruby is. All right, then I'm going to get this black cherry. In fact, let me wash off these other two and come right on back. So here we have black cherry. So she looks scary. Like black cherry, royal, pop. They look crazy scary, but they do have that sheerness to them. So black cherry is so good on the cheeks. Like seriously, okay, that will look scary, right? But the more that I just soften this out and move that around, and it looks also looks so pretty with candy already. But see how pretty that is? It is definitely not a color that you need to be scared of. And black cherry is probably one that people are like, Ooh, what you doing? Okay, it's not one that you need to be scared of. And then royal is kind of that exact same thing, but it has a little more of a brownness to it than what you see with the black cherry. So royal, black cherry, a pop, and ruby that we have right here. And all of these have a glossness to them. These ones are more sheer than ruby is. Ruby definitely has more depth to her than what these three will have. I wanna do a little comparison with the satins, mattes, which are more satin, versus that are in the red family, versus those sheerness colors that I just showed you, uh, how they pick up pigment. Like they all look really scary, but you don't have to be scared. I promise you don't. So this is Sangria. See that color. So pigmented, so strong, so um, like how incredible on the lips would that be? So here is Sangria, okay? And then right down here, we're gonna have saffron, and then we're going to have scarlet. So there are those gorgeous reds. So sangria has a little more purple tones to it than, um, than the saffron does. I love to use saffron with people who have redness in their neck and people who have redness even on their cheeks. This is a great color to have it blend because see how this coloring that it goes to it really starts to look like the redness that people have. And I think Sangria could also do the same thing, but if your redness is getting to the point where it's turning purple, I think Sangria would be a great option for you. So there's those three that are really strong in pigmentation, strong in color. And then I'm gonna go back to what we had with the ones that look so vibrant. So this is the Pop. Right, just see how strong it's not compared to these matte satin colors. This one is the ruby, right? And then this one is the black cherry and the royal. So you can really tell that having them such matte and satin, that's taking over 
that's doing absolutely everything. You can tell that they're stronger in color. And if I just fuse these out just a little bit, they really, let me, let me change this really fast. And then I'll try and fuse these ones out. So you can just see how those are just softened and they'll soften out even more. And the thing I love it with even the strong, strong colors, like that's me putting a ton on. If you're just using a teeny tiny bit in an area, it really is not gonna be so overwhelming and it's not gonna go all crazy. It can still be softer. So that's with like, that's with using a lot, a lot, a lot. We got a lot, a lot, mm, a lot, a lot. That's a real if you didn't know. But my songs, my skill level, is so exquisite that I nailed it and you totally knew it was music. JK, okay, moving on. All right, let's see if I can get these off of me. All right, let's get into the orange family set, shall we? So Saint Tropez is a color that we just got. Saint Tropez is definitely, I like for lighter tones, but you can show up, it is definitely an orange color. It's rock star, it's awesome. Right here, this is a, like a semi-gloss. This is Tropicana. So Tropicana is gonna have a little more tan tones to it, but again, it is orange, but you can tell it's not so orange to that. It's really introducing more of that turning to a burnt orange type color versus just a rock solid pinky peach color that St. Tropez is. Um, we have, here's one called Frenchy. And I feel like Tropicana is like the glossier version of Frenchy. Frenchy's more of that matte, that satin color. I feel like they're a lot alike. Um, and then let me compare though, this is Hollywood. Remember how I told you it's coral? So this is that coral compared to such an orange color. So again, we have Saint Tropez, we have Tropicana, Frenchy, and Hollywood. All right there. Next, I'm going to do this baby. This is the one I've been wearing on my cheeks left and right. Um, this is called Madrid. I am obsessed with Madrid. It's more of a matte, it's more of that satin. It is such an awesome, awesome color. And then we have sandstone. This is that, it's truly like the red rock that you see um, all the time, which I have around me. So there is sandstone. And then we have nude. And then we have plum. And you can tell that the plum just is getting more purple. So it's so close to that nude, but it's getting more purple. Let's bring in a couple different lighting sources for it. So again, this one is Madrid. This one is sandstone. This one is uh, nude. This one is plum, okay? So Saint Tropez, Tropicana, Frenchy, Hollywood. Um, this is really testing me. <laughs> um, Madrid, sandstone, or nude, and plum. And it's just more purple. And then this baby, this baby's a semi-gloss. So it's not gonna show up a ton, but this one is ballerina. So it's definitely in these nude families, but this one is going to show up light. Like I will put this on my cheek. See how it's really bringing in that nude color. Like I know I already had candy on it, but it's not gonna show up a ton on people. You need to have fair skin for that color to work. Now I gotta go fix my face. <laughs> okay, I'm going to wipe off the Saint Tropez, Frenchy, Tropicana ones and kinda guide these into a little bit more here going on. So we have, this is the one that I use on my lips all the time. I use Sadie and Summer Love. So this is what I have to show you about Sadie and Summer Love. So here is Sadie. Look, you can truly barely see it on my hand. You see that? You can barely see it. This is that sheer that I'm always just covering it with another color anything like that, like this is such a good color to have sheer on the lips. Um, Summer Love is just like that too. So the exact same thing. We have, the difference in the two is Summer Love has a little bit more uh, 
plumish, uh, mauve, mauve. Summer Love is more mauve, whereas this one's more uh, tan, brown. And that's the difference in those two. They're so close, but they really are not gonna show up on your cheeks at all. They're just a really good gloss that you're gonna um, have. See the difference between those and that is like night and day difference. So again, it's barely gonna show, but it is the best gloss ever. And this one is Desert Sunset. So Desert Sunset has a little more orange tones. There's your Summer Love, and there is your Sandy. We mastered like all of them, but here's a color that's gonna have a little more than these three. So this one is Boardwalk, but you can see it definitely has more added color, but not by much. So Boardwalk is, again, you can see it on my cheek with already having colors there, you can still see it on my cheek, but it's not gonna bring to the table a lot of colors, but it does have that orange background. So at the end of this, when I go through them, I will make a list and we'll do the, um, I'll put the colors on the side here for what they are. I also have a graphic, if you ever wanna ask for this graphic for me, I have a graphic where I have them broken down from um, pinks, oranges, and then in the red family. So I got you covered, you're set. There is only one color that I have not touched on yet. And the color, the magical color that she is, I kind of feel like she is a breed of her own, but she is my Barbie doll color. Like she is the one that I personally would think is a Barbie doll color, but I love her. So I'm gonna compare to you the two. The Pinky Promise, where that one's like a full-fledged Barbie doll. And here's Pinky Promise. And here is the Magnificent Cindy. So Cindy is definitely different than that Barbie doll color. There is for sure a difference between the two, but you can see that this one pulls a little more blue. This is the Pinky Promise, blue purple. Whereas this one compared to this one, it almost looks like it has a little more orange to it. And so if you compare this right here too, this is Petal and this is Cindy. So you can see that it does pull more of that orange. This is Pinky Promise. So I'm also gonna show you, uh, I'll tell you what these ones are all called, and then you can see how strong they're too. Oh my gosh, no, I forgot one other color. I did, it's this one, Venice. So there's Venice and there's Cindy. Oh, I almost forgot her, how dare I? So there's Venice and she actually is gorgeous on the cheeks. You do not need much of her at all. A little bit goes a long way, but look how pretty. Like that can be very scary, overwhelming, and it is such a very pretty color. Okay, so we have Pinky Promise, Cindy, and Venice. All right, I'm gonna walk you through these right now. Let's see how well I have these memorized. I might have to look on the back. And anytime you wanna remember too, they always have the names on the back with the ingredient list for them as well. And you will also see that that ingredient list is not very long. <laughs> so we have carousel right here. We have boardwalk. And so remember that these ones don't show up like really, really strong. So lot, or carousel, boardwalk, La Cienega. I love these so much. But then what, right in here, we get a little bit more. So we have um, Venice, Pinky Promise, and Pop, okay? Then we have Candy, Sadie. So Candy is what I started this tutorial out with. And then Sadie, and then Desert Sunset. No, this one's Frenchy. We don't need this one, because we already use Frenchy. Desert Sunset. Summer Love, okay, so these ones more orange, and this one more mauve, and then Petal, Cindy, Ruby, Black Cherry, and Royal. Then on this one, we have Saint Tropez, Sangria, Madrid, Sandstone, Nude, and these ones right here, these are all the satin mats. Okay, so Plum, um, Frenchie, and Hollywood. Again, these are all mats to here as well. So then we have Pink Grapefruit. Remember, it's the one that has a little more blue than this one, okay? 
So see that? Then we have, so pink grapefruit, um, baby watermelon, dahlia, and then we have uh, saffron, scarlet, and then we have these two semi-glosses right here. We have the Tropicana and Ballerina. With these awesome, awesome colors, they're so good, but one of my very favorite things about a cream, found, a cream foundation and a cream uh, lip and cheek is the ability to build within other colors. So you can mix and match really awesome shades together and I've never met one that I do not like. So let's say for example, you have oily skin and you want to make sure that you are using one that's more matte. So this right here is baby watermelon and I can put baby watermelon on my cheek and just, you wanna always lift up with the cheek instead of coming straight across because it's, it's helping lift the look of your cheek. So let's say that that's the color that I had on and then I wanted to take another color and mix it with it and not be too strong but still have some fun and not be so matte because you can see this has a little more shimmer this one is a lot more matte. So I'm gonna take Cindy and just pop Cindy on just a little bit and we can create a fun, fun cheek. Let's say I wanna do something super strong. One of my favorite concoctions is the wonderful, amazing saffron. And then when I go in, I will use Tropicana or Frenchie, something like that. But even let's say you went a little too dark, you can either just pan it out or take a piece of your, take a piece, take a little dab of your foundation color or go in with a lighter color to soften it out. So I will go in, this is um, Petal. See how it just throws that softer look on it? And you can really just change them up. Um, if, I, if I didn't want to add a gloss to it, then I could have done saffron and Frenchie or saffron and um, Saint, uh, blah, 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 Saint Tropez. So for example, here's saffron. And then if I take um, Saint Tropez, see how it just makes this whole new color? and it's really pretty. So you can just make the most gorgeous, gorgeous concoctions out of anything that you have without having to have as many colors on hand. So there is our swatches for the day. These amazing, awesome colors. If you ever have any questions, please feel free to reach out and let me know. If you've tried some really fun concoctions, let me know as well, because I would love to try them and I'll take a picture and show everybody else. If you've never tried a cream lip and cheek, I challenge you to do so because it is going to make a difference with your makeup. Um, follow me along over on Instagram, jocelyn.mcclellan. You can also subscribe to this channel too and like and comment on all of the videos, any of the videos that you see fit. You can find me on fit, uh, Facebook with Fit Mission Makeup with Jocelyn McClellan and on Tuesdays I go live with makeup and Thursdays I go live with hair. Always reach out and say hi. You'll find me on Pinterest as well. I have a website, fitmissionmakeup.com, where you can turn in and submit a color match so that you know what colors are best for you for your foundation, your blushes, your eyeshadows, anything that you want. And you can find my blog where I keep that updated with some awesome guides for you. Take care, have a good one. We'll see you next time. And if you ever have a request for a video I can make for you, please feel free to let me know. Take care, bye.